John, thanks very much for joining us this morning. Obviously, we're here to talk about the big game on Friday, the Premier League Cup game against West Bromwich Albion. But before we move on to that, I just want to talk to you for a few minutes, if that's OK. Um, probably haven't said this uh, or made a massive public deal of this, but since Emir Humphreys moved into the recruitment team at the club, uh, you've stepped up and now taken charge of the academy as a whole, as well as your management duties and coaching duties with the B team. Uh, congratulations, first Thank of you. all. It's kind of come full circle for you, hasn't it, in the end? It's uh, started your career as a player in the academy, and now you're looking after the career of the next set of players. You must be a proud man. Yeah, extremely proud. And, and like you say, it's kind of gone, gone full circle um, as, a, as a young lad coming through uh, the academy. Uh, full circle now to be to be back as um, you know le leading the academy now, which is for me really proud moment. Uh, been been a local lad and, and coming through the system, um, you know I feel privileged to to have this this opportunity. It's been a, a really important time for the academy with regards to the first team as well. The start of the season, obviously a difficult start at senior level for the club. There's no escaping that, but. One of the green shoots, I think everyone would agree, is that the way that the academy players have really stepped up to the fore when we've needed them, and we have needed them this season en masse. You look at Etienne Kamara, Ben Jackson currently making a, a real impression at first team level, Pat Jones with that goal at Norwich, Brodie Spencer more recently, then we've seen Brahima Diara, Charles Ondo make their first steps this season too. I mean, it's, it's a long list uh, for a team, but it shows how important the academy, the B team is to the the overall plan of the club, doesn't it? Yeah, I think, um, you know, the, the lads who've stepped in and, and had to step in, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, I think everyone's aware of the injuries that we've had um, and, the, and the lads have stepped in and done extremely well and there are a group of players that, that we, um, we've we seen progress over the last few years and we've, we've got, a, got a lot of belief in this group um, and collectively as a, as a group of staff, we, you know, we work tirelessly to try and prepare these boys for when they get that opportunity to, to grasp it and take it and, you know, that's credit to, to, the, to, to the staff and the, the club as a whole that, that, you know, that everyone's on board with that process. And, you know, it's, it's a really proud moment for all of us when, when we see, you know, Academy and B team uh, uh, players uh, stepping onto that first team pitch and, you know, giving a, a good account of themselves. I think you touched on something that's really important to emphasise there as well. We, as a function, try and show the work that you guys do on a day-to-day -day basis and the amount of time, effort, resource that is put into these young lads. But there's so much that happens behind the scenes day-to-day -day here at the Miller's Oils High Performance Complex that fans don't get to see. And when you see the likes of Ben Jackson coming into the team, contributing Pat Jones, that goal at Norwich, which was outstanding, just how proud a moment it is for the staff that work with you and work with the players day-to-day, -day, the, the guys, the sports science guys, the physios, the coaches, everyone that's involved, the chefs, you know, we could go on and on. It, it, these are big, big moments for, for people like you who are so invested in these players, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a collective effort. It's a relentless process that um, all members of staff uh, go, go on the journey with the players. Um, you know, our, our model is, is a real individualised programme, so it's not just the, what happens on the pitch, it's off the pitch, it's, it's it, like you said, it's the nutrition, it's the work in the gym, it's work in the off-field coaching. There's loads of elements that, 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 that come together to, you know, to put these, the, these, these boys in a, a position where, you know, we believe and, and hope they can uh, p perform on, on, on the championship stage. One of the elements of that is obviously the quality of the player. And obviously that's paramount to any footballer having a career at any level. But the other bit, and we've talked about this, is, is the actual character and your ability to step into an environment where you're bottom of the league, you're in the Skybet Championship, it's a really, really high level, as you well know, uh, and the ability to step into that environment and look like you do when I watch them playing for your team, I think is testament to some of the work that you guys do, but also the character of the individuals as well. And I mean that... Pat Jones, I keep using that example, running past Grant Hanley like he would run past someone in Watford's B team, you know, or he would try to do it. No, no change in, not being overawed by the occasion. We see Brahima Diara come on and he's dribbling past people at a first team level in front of 20,000 like he does when you're playing here at, uh, at the training ground in front of maybe 50 people. There's a lot that goes into that side of things as well, isn't it? And, and we'll come on to the importance of games like Friday in contributing towards that as well but that's been really notable hasn't it the lads don't look overawed no and I think um, you know yes 
definitely as individuals there's some some really good characters um, but again it's something that we, we try and install in in terms of the environment the culture those behaviors uh, from day one when they step in the building uh, it's all it's all things that, that, that make up the player and um, like I say it's a contribution from everyone to make sure that, 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 that when they do get that opportunity they take it and they've got the right mentality uh, going into that, um, a kind of a no fear uh, which you always talk about young players but, but actually being able to deliver that and do that in, in pressure uh, situations is, is, is key and um, I think that's, that's been a really important um, recognition of what we've seen uh, of the lads who've, who've, who've stepped up. Obviously, lots of factors go into that. Loan spells at senior level away from the club. Even being around the, the senior players here day to day probably helps them feel more comfortable. But one of the big things I think about that is games like Friday night. And, and that's at the John Smith Stadium. There'll be a crowd there. It might not be the 20,000 that you get at first team level. We'd love it to be. But that environment, it does have a special feel to it for these players. And it must help when it comes to making that step up to the senior team as well. Yeah, massively. I mean, you touched on the loans. The loans are very important. They give them different exposure, different levels. Um, but it's about playing man, men's football, playing in competitive games, playing in for, being in first team dressing rooms and getting those exposures and experiences. Um, what we what we do extremely well at the club is there's a real integration between B team and the first team. You know whether that's in training, um, you know whether it's games up against the first team and 11 v 11. So so the the, the, the lads are getting the, those types of exposures consistently, which is is very different to what happens at other clubs, and and I think it's something that really sets us apart. But again, our program um, one of the, the massive benefits is is the games program. Um, it's variation of the games programme, it's not the same games every week, it's, it's different challenges, it's putting them in different situations against non-league teams, against men's teams, against under-21s teams like the game uh, on Friday night. You know, and we're fortunate that you know that the club and, and we can we can play at the stadium. Um, and again, those types of experiences playing at, at the John Smith Stadium, yes, albeit not with twenty thousand in, but it's it's still the, the dressing room. It's still that, those types of environments that that, that make uh, the transition when they do step into the first team. You know, um, re really important moments. And I think that's why you know. You know, as we can, it, the more fans we can get down, the better it is for for the players, for the, for the lads, because it, it gives them as, as much experience as as possible, um, as well as, as support and, and getting them behind them. The Premier League Cup, you talked about the games programme there and we, we try and explain that you use the games for different purposes. So sometimes you'll be practising specific things that you've worked on in training. But the Premier League Cup is the one that you've targeted to win. And obviously you want to win every game you're playing, but this is where the lads are challenged to put everything together and put a performance out there that gets the result. And, and we've seen that bear fruit over recent seasons, reach the, uh, the knockout stages last year. This season, we come into the game on the back of, of away wins at Middlesbrough and Watford, who are, who are both you know, great clubs, great, great teams. And we come into a game against West Brom, who are the reigning champions in the competition as well from last season. So why is it this competition is the one that you really go after at B-team level? Uh, I think it's because the, the level of challenge is high, um, the, the, the quality of um, academy teams that you're playing, it's also predominantly all the games are stadium games, so I think um, it really allows you to kind of um, really work a week to a performance week, um, you know, um, all the analysis, um, all the off-field coaching and, and, and tactical stuff that you can get across to the players, uh, which you might not get across in a normal week, depending on what that, what that looks like, and it allows to have a real focus in terms of the game plan and, uh, and, and preparing the, the lads like they would do as if it was a, a first-team game. So I think um, because it's a, a group stage, a qualifying and then group stages and then into a knockout competition, it allows you to, to have six, six group matches to, to really plan and prepare for uh, and then puts you into that, to that knockout phase, which is, is always a, you know, a good challenge and, and pressure situations. We've talked about what it would mean to, to the players to see a good crowd there on Friday night. Do a bit of a sales job for the fans as well. You know they've enjoyed seeing some of the, some of your B team players in the first team this season. It, it's an exciting team, isn't it? This one that, you, that you're going to field on Friday night. There were some faces that they do know, some that they might not have seen before. But the, there's plenty of reason when there's no club football, the World Cup hasn't quite started yet. To get down to the John Smith Stadium at 7 p.m. on Friday, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it'd be great to see as, as many people down down there as possible. I, you know, I believe it is a really exciting group. Uh, like you said, there will be some names who've been in around the first team who, who will 
play um, tomorrow tomorrow evening, but also some some of the younger ones um, who we we've got real belief um, that they can you know they can follow in the same footsteps and you know over the next uh, next twelve months. So so I think it's exciting. It's it's good to um, you know to watch them live. Um, I think that the way they play and and the, and the belief and the style that they play is, is is a really attractive way to play football. Um, they're really aggressive, uh, out of possession. Um, some things that you know, things that, that, that we work on on a, on a daily basis, and, and those types of cultures. So it'd be, it'd be great to see see people down and watch that. John, we're looking forward to the game. Thanks for joining us uh, this morning, and all the best to you and the players against West Brom on Friday night. Thank you.